Hey guys, how's it going? So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to specify the geometry of your molecule in PySCF. So in the previous tutorial, I already showed you um, how to initialize a molecular object in PySCF and there we kind of saw how we were uh, giving the coordinates of the atoms. However, there are uh, actually multiple ways and this is one of the, um, you know, one of the things where you will see how flexible PySCF is. And you'll see how many ways there are you can um, input the geometry or specify the geometry for your molecular system and that's why i wanted to make a specific tutorial for this as well so if um, you want to follow some of the advices from the developers then you can follow um, this particular example at this link over here i'll add it in the description down below as well as another tutorial at this link so these two tutorials might be very useful as well as this api link also might be very useful for you so i'll add the links to these in this description down below but for the moment let's begin with the tutorial and see the different ways in which you can specify the geometries so just go ahead and uh, open your terminal and give the command python 3 to launch your python shell and then input um, pycf or rather import the gto module which uh, deals with the um, molecule initialization etc so we do from PyCF import GTO and you will you may or may not get this warning uh, it's just a deprecation warning so just don't worry about that if the warning is exactly the same as this and you can perhaps give um, hit enter multiple times to make some space after that so the um, next thing you want to do is you want to initialize a molecule or object so you do mol let's call this our molecule object you do GTO dot M O L E and this will basically create an empty mall object and now you can specify the geometry by giving the um, by uh, defining or initializing the attribute or property atom so the property atom is where you can specify the geometry for your system so you do mall dot atom now there are multiple ways or multiple things you can do you first of all you need to give triple inverted commas and then um, so these will be the starting inverted commas and then we'll have the ending inverted commas. So if you want to define everything when in one line, then you will basically have the started, starting three inverted commas or maybe just a single inverted comma will also do if you want to have everything in one line. But um, so what you will do is you will write the name of the um, or the symbol of the atom. So for example, H and then the coordinates. So let's say zero, zero, zero or it can also be a floating a point number so like 0.0, .0 will also work and then to separate this atom from the next atom you will do a semicolon you will enter a semicolon and then you can enter the name of the or the symbol of the another atom let's say O and this we can have at the position 2.5, 3.0 .3, 4.3 .3, and 0 and then we enter another atom and then we separate it using semicolon because we are doing everything in one line so we need to tell PyCF some way to distinguish between uh, that these two atoms are different so and now um, there is another very good way so instead of writing H O and so on the atom symbols you can also just write the atomic number so let's say you just write one for hydrogen and then you write the coordinates let's say this time 5.5 5.8 and 10.0 so that is it so now we have defined uh, three atoms so we have h at the origin then we have another oxygen atom at some arbitrary point and then we have a hydrogen atom um, indicated by the atomic number one and then the coordinates for that atom and then we hit enter and if you don't get any error then that makes it work and then you can finally do mol dot build and then if you try to access the number of atoms by giving the grand mol dot atom then you will see three that means it works so we are seeing our three atoms over here another thing you can do is you can also do mol dot atom quads and see and then you put parentheses and then see if you what you get it's the same as what you entered or not and here is the funny thing actually i should have mentioned it before uh, i entered the um, coordinates so the most important thing is you should know what units you are entering the coordinates in so PyCF by default assumes that you are entering the coordinates in angstroms so these coordinates that we have entered are in angstroms but whenever you try to access the get back the coordinates from PyCF for example if you give the command mol dot atom course then you get something different 
that why is that that is because it is now using bore units so it has converted those angstrom um, units uh, those uh, coordinates in angstrom units to bore units that is why you see that the first coordinate is still the same because zero 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 however the remaining are different and now you can confirm this by giving the command mol.rm quads but also now passing in the uh, function the argument unit equals angstrom within quotes remember within single quotes and then hit enter and now you will see the coordinates that we get are the same as what we enter so we enter 0 0 0 2.5 4.30 and then 5.5 5.8 .5, this is the same as what we enter over here so that means our molecule uh, geometry specification worked well we were able to specify the coordinates in whatever uh, units we wanted but also perhaps you may want to enter the coordinates in bore units rather than the uh, the angstrom units that I just did. In that case, what you can do is first of all you just go ahead and create another empty mole object by giving the command mole equals gdo dot mole, and then before specifying the um, these atomic units, or maybe you can just go ahead and specify these. But then later on, you should tell your uh, piracy of that. Okay, the unit that I was using was actually bore and not angstrom. And then you hit enter, and then you do mall dot build, and then you try to access the atomic coordinates again by giving the mall dot atom quads but with parentheses, and then hit enter. And now you will see that since uh, even though this command returns the coordinates in bores, we get the same coordinates that we entered because we already entered the coordinates in bores. That is what we said over here. We said that okay, we are entering the coordinates in bore units, not angstrom units so that is why we get this and then if you want to get them in angstrom units then you just do unit um, sorry equals angstrom with the single quotes and then you'll get the uh, angstrom units okay so that is enough about you know how to access the coordinates back and whatnot now coming back to the geometry specification now this was just one way of specifying the geometry and here we did everything in one line but uh, you might want to do something easier because entering everything in one line is slightly tough and if I know quantum chemists well then usually they use either .mol files or xyz files or some other files from maybe some proprietary softwares and there you don't have the coordinates all in one line but rather you have the coordinates in different lines so you have the coordinates for the first atom in one line then the uh, coordinates for the another atom in the second line and so on and in that case you might just want to copy those coordinates and paste them here and you don't want to do it everything in one line so in that case for example here I will be using an example of benzene.xyz from this link over here that I'll, I'll add in the description down below so here what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and copy this um, these contents and paste them and so I have actually already pasted them but for the sake of tutorial let me just delete it and paste it in an empty um, file and the name that file c686.xyz which is the benzene xyz file so now you can notice that each uh, the coordinates of each atom are in a separate line and usually you might just want to copy this so we'll just go ahead and go copy this control c and then go to our terminal create an empty um, mole object by giving to mole dot um, mole equals video dot mole and then we do mole dot atom equal and then we use triple quotes because what these triple inverted commas allow us to do is they allow us to uh, go to the next line without um, by something that we are now entering a new command so it allows us to continue our string so now we hit enter and now you see instead of three triangular brackets we get some dots and now we can just go ahead and paste what we copied from there so these were the coordinates of the benzene molecule 12 atoms and then we have just pasted them and then we hit enter and then finally we close the uh, this string by giving the three inverted commas once again and hit enter and now we do mol.build and now you can see that if I do mol.atom it will return 12 for 12 bit atoms in benzene 6 H and 6 um, carbon atoms and you can also check the coordinates by giving the command mol.atom quads and uh, maybe we just stick to the uh, angstrom units uh, to compare so we do unit equals angstrom and then hit and now you can see that these are these units match what we entered so we have 1.2194 and 0.6825 minus so everything matches so 
uh, it has um, PySafe has been able to, you know, access or parse our um, input correctly as we desired, and also you can uh, confirm the um, whether the charges were correct or not, whether the number of electrons is correct or not by giving command model and electron. So okay for the two electrons is correct for um, C6H6 because we have 36 electrons for carbon and 6 electrons for hydrogen so 42 and you can also check something like mol.atom symbol and then within the parentheses as argument you need to supply the index of the atom so in our case the first index is for hydrogen so we just do one and I'm sorry in Python actually we, we the indices start with zero sorry so we need to end with zero so the first index is zero and in our case we have the h atom over here so that is why we get h and then the one index refers to the second atom so now we get c corresponding to our input and then so on for two we also get c then for three we get h back yeah so as expected and there's actually another attribute which PySafe uses as an internal attribute so you cannot really it's not very useful to modify it or change it but actually there's another attribute like mall underscore ADM and then it will show you the not only the coordinates but also actually uh, this is not the uh, attribute I was talking about you cannot this is not readable the attribute I, I'm really sorry the attribute I, I was talking about was mall dot underscore atom not ADM and now you can see that it also prints out the um, atomic symbol so we have the atomic symbol and the three coordinates as a python list or a 1d number array and then you have another atom symbol then a three um, element list or three or a single dimension python numpy array and so on so that was the second way of specifying the geometry the first one was where you had everything in one line the another way this time we had everything in different lines but another thing I want to showcase here is that um, you can also specify the geometry from my from an XYZ file directly you don't need to even do this copy paste and all this stuff what you need to do is you just create an empty mall object as we have been doing before so you do mall equals gda.mall and then you do mall um, dot, dot atom and just make sure that the directory that you're running Python from is the same directory where you have the .xyz file or be prepared to paste the correct address of the .xyz file. In my case, I'm running Python from my home directory, but I also have the, um, you know, the in my home directory, I have the 686.xyz file. So it will be able to find this. What I do is I do mall.atom equals Within single goes, I write out the name of the XYZ file. So I do c686.xyz, hit enter, and it doesn't report any error. Thank God, mall.build. And now, if I go ahead and do mall.madam, it again shows 12. So that means it was able to read everything correctly. You can also check the quotes, and um, so hopefully, those are correct. Let me just do unit equals angstrom to confirm. I'm sorry, we need to have a single quote. Yeah, okay, so we have 1.2194 and everything matches what we already had. So that is, um, I guess, it for this tutorial. Those are the three main ways in which you can um, enter the geometry. So the first one was inline, the other one was to have everything in different lines. And you also saw that we, instead of entering the atomic symbol, you can also enter the atomic index or rather the atomic number of the atom you can also just have the input entered using an xyz file however there are still tons of ways using which you can specify the geometry you see how flexible biocf is so let me just go ahead and uh, you know show you this url or which i'll of course paste in the description but actually you can even put the z matrix as well you can do that you can even enter using the internal format as i showed with mall dot underscore atom i showed you that internal format um, but they don't recommend this but you can nonetheless do it so you will have the atom symbol and then uh, list python list with the um, coordinates and so on and you 
might find this um, tutorial and link useful. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and in case you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. In case you have any questions or doubts, don't forget to leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.